Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuy21. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time, Candorus had a little honor duel in the desert to Tatooine. After I spent over half a fucking hour wandering around with, like a chicken with its head cut off trying to find the goddamn encounter. <sighs> well, that was annoying to say the very least. Now there's only really one side quest left for us involving companions that we actually need to do, and that's the threat from Zor. And the best way to do that is to enter and re-exit various hangars. Yay! Hmm. So, uh, let's see. Let's spend about five minutes going to and from Tatooine's docking bay. And see if anything happens. Probably not. Probably be easier to check Manon. Actually, now that I think about it, it'd probably be a lot easier. Because that's where I bumped into him before. So yeah. Let's keep trying. Various docking bays around the universe. Do we find the proper one and get the fuck out? Get that fucking thing taken care of. <sighs> I need to slow down when it comes to talking. I really, really need to slow down when it comes to talking. Oh, great! Oh, so much fighters! I apparently can't hit the right side of a barn today. Fucking sun glare! Piss off! Oh come on, how am I missing? Thank you! Hang on for a second. Do that. Uh, minimize some windows that may have gotten in the way. Fantastic. Let's see, I need how much XP? 77 points. Juhani and Karth. Will he just spawn? Someone did. Karth! Karth Onessi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your friend here, eh? How's it going? You're a friend of Karth's, I take it. Sure am. We joined the militia together back on Telos. That was a lot of years ago, of course. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, um, well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Telos still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean... Dustle? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban. Though he didn't recognize me. You... didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustle's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustle anywhere. Positive. He's um he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, no, I I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure. No. No problem. 
good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive! We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. I understand perfectly. We'll go as soon as possible. Thank you. I, I, I just have to see him. I have to know what happened to him. All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now. Well, that wasn't the person I was expecting to show up, but I'll take it. <sighs> what were the uh, what would be the odds if he actually spawns on Korriban? Because Dantooine's a no-go, because that plant's basically gone. Alright, will you spawn again? Someone spawn to the ether. No. Hmm, what am I doing wrong? Hmm. I was looking this up yesterday, and there wasn't any specific trigger I needed to do, just have a messenger appear, or go where the messengers are said to appear. <sighs> this is annoying. Very annoying. My Cathar blood seethes at the thought of that man still. He will pay for his. Yeah, 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 he will. Hmm. <laughs> All right then, all right then, I won't worry about it. Fuck it. Galaxy map. Um. I literally can't select Dantooine. Great. Try this again. Do I really have to cheese the shit out of mechanics for this to work? Do I really have to enter and exit constantly for anything to show up? Oh, I swear to Christ. <sighs> Alright then. Let's see here. Oh, great. Emails I don't give two shits about. Two missed calls. Who cares? Chrome. I really should replace Chrome with something else. Hmm, I wonder. Would it be easier just to uh, warp and transit back? Or do I need to be a leveled in order for this to show up? God have mercy. Okay. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll leave the city of Anchorhead. See if the Desirades have respawned. Kill one or two. Then warp back here and see if me getting a level up will actually enable the trigger to actually pop up. Or it could be a case of this quest being bugged like missions is and I have accidentally, uh... Fucked it. Wouldn't be the first time I've acci accidentally fucked something up. And it probably won't be the last. Uh, one problem having a fucking five year old phone. Where's it six? I'm not sure. Actually, I think hmm? it's eight going on oh, eight now. Oh, you again. Now just let you pass. The boys in the office may need authorization. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up.
Hmm. According to this, we only got him to show up by transiting back, so that could actually do some work. Ah, there's some raids. Perfect. I need to gain some XP anyway. Come here, coffee. I need a drink. Well, I'm a kind of annoyed that I can't use my force abilities while wearing this suit of armor. And we'll have to accept it. Now, admittedly, if I had gone full, uh, close combat, soldier, Jedi Guardian, I could do that. Just fucking jump all over the place like mad. Then, uh, me wearing armor wouldn't have, won't be a big of, wouldn't have been a big of an issue. But since I went to the consular, me using force powers is kind of a given here. Unfortunately, there's not that many suits of armor that actually let me have armor and be able to use force powers. Unlike Kotor 2, which has armor that let me use force powers. Oh, I hate this game sometimes. Oh, well, level up. Skills! Well, there's really no reason to increase your pair anymore, is there? <laughs> All those skill points wasted. Damn it. Fuck it. Put a point of persuasion. Why not? Another force power. Force lightning. Uh, only two more levels to go, then I am at level 20, and I don't think I'll gain XP after that. Ready! What is it? Because I'm pretty sure level 20 is the maximum level. I don't know why that one was different. Who cares? Transit back to the Evan Hawk. Master? What? Okay. Transit back. Transit back to the Ebon Hawk. Spawn already, you colossal piece of shit. That is very, very annoying. One more try. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Not messing around with this anymore. It's time to head to Korriban. But, before I do that... Yeah, what do you want? So, what are your thoughts now? This thing with Joggy, is there some... Okay, fair enough. Tell me about when you worked for Davik. Working for Davik was like driving a spike through the side of your head. Sure, you got something new in there, but in the end, you've lost something as well. Beating up people who wouldn't or couldn't pay, strong-arming his competitors, killing who he said, it was busy work, nothing decent. Really? Killing his competitors? I've killed many people. I can't say I'm proud of it, but I have. Criminals, competitors, businessmen, police, women, children. Jedi were a better challenge, but they hardly ever poked around in the Undercity. Until you came along. But I never wanted to challenge you. Never felt the need. Maybe I knew I couldn't win just like all those years ago. 
A wise decision. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you probably would have beaten me again. Maybe you would have. But you're not who you were back then. I can tell. You've changed. And maybe I have to. I remember a time when I could do anything I wanted. Kill, maim, murder. It was all the same to me. But now, now that I am older, I can look back and regret. Over what? I look back and regret all the chances I had as a warrior. And then all the chances I've had since then. I, I shouldn't be getting like this. Not when so many other things are happening, but... It feels like... Like something has changed inside and I don't know what it is. Ah! This is unbecoming a warrior! Let's get on with everything before I start getting sentimental or something. Is there something else you want to know? You're... Hmm... Candorous is starting to have regrets! And starting to think of the past, and try to think for the future! Oh, Candorous, I know what happens to you later on. But anyway, enough fucking around. Let's head to... Ta Let's head to Korriban, finally! <laughs> Not you. Come here, Loki. Come here. Ginger, leave him alone. Up. Blah. Hang on, Loki. Just let me move some things out of the way so when you event inevitably jump up here, you don't knock everything over like a fucking madman. Shit's a goddamn pile on at my feet in terms of animals. We got the dog, we got the cat, we're just missing the bigger dog and the bigger cat. <sighs> now, the challenge. What will he row up against? My microphone, my mic, my pop filter, my coffee, my computer, my keyboard. I really hope he doesn't get on my keyboard. Yep, he's on my keyboard. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, it's not even Monday and I'm having these kinds of issues. Good kitty. Good kitty, kitty, kitty. Seriously, I have no empathy for my fellow man. They can all fucking die in nuclear fire for all I care. But animals, I have a severe soft spot for. Must be why I have literal animal magnetism. Uh. There. You got your attention? No more meowing. Well. This is gonna be awkward. Can I play with one hand? Most likely. But it's gonna be a real bitch. Uh, eh. There we go. Wires are out of the way. Great, Ginger went out out of my room because he's a little jealous bitch. I don't know why my dogs are. Okay, it's time to hit the bar back. Let's get that drink out of your eyes.
So, Loki, what brought this on? You're usually sleeping. I'm taking a nap. I guess you just wanted attention. Oh, hey, no fighters so far. Wait, who's in the co pilot Who's in the pot? Yeah, co pilot's chair. Vassal ain't piloting anymore. Carves is pilot. Who's co pilot? Oh, hey, another dream sequence, and Bastila is not here. <laughs> Who takes her place? Boop. Uh, that's just great. Hang on for a minute. There we go. Uh, had to skip it, unfortunately, because the game locked up. Awesome. Well, at least we don't get any planetary introductions this time. Oh, my arm's gonna be fucking sore. I am literally cradling a cat in my arms. And I am not the most physically fit of people. Well, decided to jump out of my arms. Decided to jump onto my desk. Behind everything. That's great. Yes, that's where my map. That's got it. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. As long as he doesn't start stepping on my keyboard, I won't have a problem. Now he's off the table. Okay, now it's time for our party. Fuck it, Carfajuani, and the off chance that fucking asshole does show up. We need Carf anyway. Of course. There she is. Get her, men. But remember, don't kill her. Uh, the one place that doesn't have security is the place he spawns. Can I swap out my armor in combat? I can. Zap! <laughs> He doesn't have long, Juhani. He may not, but I will make him pay with what little time he has left. I will make him tell me what he has done to my people. <coughs> you may have killed me today, but I had the pleasure of killing off your species. Not everyone who fought alongside the Mandalorians did it for their stupid concept of honor. <coughs> Some of us just did it for the pleasure. The pleasure of seeing your world burn. You, you animal, you wretch. <laughs> but I'm beyond your petty vengeance now, girl. You can never have your revenge. Just ignore him. I will not give him the satisfaction of seeing me give in to the Worm, I killed your people on Cathair in the sky, <clears throat> on the ground, in their homes. I hunted them down like the animals they were, <laughs> just to see them burn. But the treacherous beasts fought back and left me with injuries that meant I could never fight again. <clears throat> or so they thought. This isn't going to work. No, I will not give it to him. 
I ended up in the lower city of Taurus, and what did I find? <laughs> A few of those stinking beasts living there. The male was easy enough to best, but the females proved elusive. I didn't know what happened to them after I killed the male. <coughs> Until I saw this cursed woman on the auction block. But then the Jedi came and ruined everything before I could have my revenge. <coughs> you... you killed my father. You killed my people. You, you treat us like animals. You deserve to die. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Give in and embrace your hate. You are no better than me. You are nothing. I... 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 Don't do it, Juhani. Uh, help me, please. Do not let me give into my anger again. And step away. <laughs> Your kind always were weak-minded. No, I will not do this. He may die, but it will not be out of my vengeance. You coward. You weak. I scare of that. It figures the one place that isn't crawling with guards is the place he shows up. Well. Johanny is not needed. Too bad Basil is not here. Oh wait, she can't come on this planet because of reasons. So, come along, HK. Zerka guards, huh? Port Authority. Chipedwana ni bobo. Tonk nabung sha nun yang. Tonk patoga smaktelia. Ah, Jedi come here often, do they? Chipedwana ni bobo. Tonk nabung sha nun yang. Tonk patoga smaktelia. So I imagine. Kuya mi juz kachita nai patoga ya fulki. Kukula Jiti Kawana Bota a Ayut Tagwa Kankidora Tikun Watati Mana Isabola. We Itanadana Yitia Kunti Chani Tongbato Gas Magdelia. Oh, here's your twenty five credits. Kachichu Aitha Odunga In King Kuno Bamuli Rachi Kun Slima Bodana. Rundi Hodonga Kun Honkabi. I'll be on my way then. Mucha Shak Pangpa. Inkin Kun no Bamuri Rachikun. Oh, great. We're gonna have to deal with this shit. Let's see, we have prospective Sith students and Shardan. An acolyte. Oh. It's so easy to do dark side actions in this fucking planet. Oh, I'm really gonna have to steal myself and not fall to the dark side. <laughs> no, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Watawama mulira, king kunjo peshak, no ba mulira ji, joni yun turung chi, we eat a dia, bola una chinek. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tunipudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sarcha! Itchua penki! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! 
I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Uh, hmm. You, Jedi, you're looking to get into the Academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the Academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Advisement. Evisceration works well. Electrocution and blunt trauma also work well, I understand. I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. Why are you asking me? Please, tell him to let us go, I beg you! Silence. Why not ask you? I'm rather exhausted from dealing with hopefuls like these. I can barely think straight. Besides, I find it fun. Come now, a decision, please. Oh, my decision? Let them go. Let them go? And what could possibly convince me to do that? Because I'll kill you if you don't. Oh? My, but that is rather intrepid of you. I don't think I've had someone stand up to me like that in ages. You see, boys? This is the kind of backbone you need if you ever want a hope of becoming a Sith. Now get out of my sight. I gain light side points for threatening an asshole. <laughs> I guess because I also save some people's lives, but still! I gain light side points for threatening an asshole. That's hilarious to me. Bree! Or is it Re? How do you pronounce your name? What sort of merchandise do you offer? Nikawa Dubaka! Patisa! Patisa! Kon muli slimo pui wanga kun biskin. Chi itakanki chana kilikon. Why so? Just kronki to pat slimo. Chi itakanki chana kilikon. Kinba muli rab wana ji. Kinba no kun nixet abog. Chi wi aita ka chon chicha. Agi unko tune chuna muli ra tangi wama jiko na tong kit pa non kunek abog kakin cha na wabaka on bagwa shang konti machit um. What connections do you have? Jiska dosoki kopa bono nakachu labora na winki smak toma kuyami jusku chita nai uchua penki topa na oto bokasa. You babato kanchi, ya tuka ulan, chi wi aita ka chong chi cha. Agi inko tune, chuna muli ra, tangi wama jiko na. Tong kipa non kunek abog, pa ba hasan shan. No ba muli ra ti lai kunka. Can I see your merchandise? Kakin cha na wabaka on. Bagwa shang konti machit um. Craft Warblade, Cassius Fett's Heavy Pistol. Ooh, that's upgradable. I may buy that. What else do you have? Uh, anything else? No. The only thing worth buying is uh, Cassius Fett's Heavy Pistol. I can't buy Cassius Fett's armor anymore. That's annoying to me. Yes, it's more than 900 credits. I wish to buy it. Now, if only we could find Upgrade Bench. Ooh, excuse me. Four to nine. Four to eleven. Bop. I prefer the heavy pistol design model over the regular blaster. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Yes. So you've got citizens, critters. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before. Have you? 
I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the Academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Great. Just what we needed. Some punks to come steal our lunch credits. <laughs> Smart-mouthed newcomers to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? I think that's a lot of responsibility for simple scum like you. How precocious. I think this one tried to make a joke, don't you? I didn't think it was funny. Neither did I. A brave face, perhaps, but I'm more interested in being amused at the moment, I think. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. I suggest you be careful. You might be heading for far more trouble than you can handle. What? <laughs> I think someone just stood up to you, Lasho. Shut up, fool, unless you want to be next. Yeah? Anytime. Stop it. This is boring. Let's just go back to the Academy. Fine, we'll go. As for you, I'll find you later. Trust me on that. Oh no, I'm so scared of, uh... <sighs> a bunch of useless fools. I'm so scared of you. Zerka representative, huh? Sisson. Zerka guard. Sisson's perspective. You know what? Fuck it. Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Idean, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. Ah, well, what can you do? Sorry, was there something you needed? So what does Zerka do here on Korriban? We do some mining here, and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such. But we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. I must say, Zerka is in need of droids right now. That's a mighty fine-looking one you have there. Objection. This unit is not for sale, meatbag. Uh, yes, of course. No offense meant. <laughs> Touchy, isn't it? This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. Can I see what you have on offer? You certainly can. Allow me to punch up our stock. I can be civil. Exarcoon's light battle suit. It's too bad I... Mm. Kinda wish it was better. Craft holy battle suit. Craft heavy armor. Heavy targeting optics. Urpine Ocular Enhancer. Urpine Bond Gauntlet. Stabilizer Gauntlet. Sandra Shield. Self Shield Nuts. Ziff Regeneration. Regenerator. Ooh. Extensively used by Sif Intelligence Operatives, this implant stimulates cell replication in the user's body, allowing wounds to be healed quickly and easily. It's most frequently used on operatives behind enemy lines for extended periods where medical treatment is not normally available. I'll keep that in mind. Lurs Kesh. It's fucking names, man. Who wants to know? Don't 
You obviously have me mistaken for somebody else. Well, Devik's dead, I presume. I stole the Evan Hawk from him. I may have seen something like that. How much is it worth to you? I could take a look for it. Finally, I got the code to open up that stupid smuggling compartment. Tol Apka. No, thank you. I'd never want to deal with Pazak ever again. Bartender. How many people know about the Evan Hawk? Seriously. Zyagorm says you sell special items. So, what kind of things do you have for sale? Jesus fucking Christ, this Rhodian language, what is it? A mix of Chinese, Japanese, and gibberish? Let's see your premium items. Oh my god. Rapine Fiber Mesh Suit. Bond and Heli Alloy. Jurgen Kotla's Power Suit. Thermal Detonator. St stabilizer Mass. Dominator Gaunt. Strength plus five! Okay! I need more credits. Constitution plus four. Dexterity plus four. Regeneration two. Okay, so I have all of this. The implants are useful. The adrenaline stimulator. That's actually kind of nice. The gloves.
Ai, ai, ai. And maybe Jurgen Catlow's power suit. I wish I had more credits. I really wish I had more credits. But before I leave D Dash Day, I should head out back. I should head back to the ship, deal with the smuggling compartment, then head to Corban proper. Uh, at the very least, we can just run fast. Yeah. More cinematic game experience. No, it doesn't. It just leads to a fucking hassle. Why would you ever turn off subtitles? Do, 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 do. All right. Do, 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 do. do the cargo hold. Well, technically, we're in the cargo hold, but that's the garage. This is the cargo hold. Where is there? It is. Oh wait. Over here! This secret compartment is still locked. Access code red 47. Now unlocked. We got spice. All that for spice. Oh. Does it show up? Yes, it does. The term spice has come to describe a wide variety of stimulant mined on the various number of worlds. But it's highly coveted glitter stem found on Kessel is by far the most precious. So spice is just a collective term of psychodrugs. Great. I'm carrying a bag full of fucking Star Wars cocaine. Awesome! Uh, wait a minute. How the fuck do you make cocaine in the first place? Because isn't natural cocaine just fucking leaves? So how does it get to a white... Wait a minute. Is the process of making sugar the same process of making powder cocaine? Great. I talk about, I find some drugs in a video game and I start talking about real life drugs. What's wrong with me? Then again, I never actually ever had cocaine in my life, which is probably a good thing. The closest thing I ever had to drugs is, um, let's see. I tried smelling paint and there, that didn't do anything, but it smelled nice. Uh, smoking weed doesn't do diddly dick, or to make me hungry. Even then, I don't think I consume enough of the fucking stuff to do anything. Um, moonshine? That just gets me drunk faster. Popping painkillers? Does nothing to me. <sighs> I guess I really need to be hitting the hard stuff to get affected, I guess. Oh well. I decided I don't want to get involved in this. Not too little, though, the comment that supports not be happy about this. Who cares? I got 10 minutes left.
What a lovely place. Prepare kits. This should be fun. Mechel! And Sith Academy Guard. I'll well, deal with you first. Leave me be. Can't you see that I'm busy? Are you one of the Sith from the Academy? Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an astute sense of perception. Obviously death, however, since I asked you to leave. Fine, I'll leave you alone. Good. I don't want to miss this for anything. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys. What are you doing? Put you up to this. She offers to she enjoyed it out and was he good and she behind all of the earth and now for the youthful draw you draw you and she behind all of the earth. Wow, this guy's a dick, a sadistic asshole. He's just having him on as a joke! Is there something specific you wanted? Are you Meckle? And what if I am? Why are you making those men stand there? That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a bantha, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. And I demand you stop this at once. You demand? Why would I listen to you? I'll do as I please. And if watching these fools starve themselves amuses me, that's what I'll do. Oh, what a sweet guy. He should get the Sith Congeniality Medal. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. Oh, they won't be here when you get back, asshole. <laughs> Well, Mechel is tricking you. He'll never let you into the academy. She offers to. She enjoyed it out. And was he good? And she behind all of the earth. And now for the Dufta. Draw you. But I. Draw you. And she behind all of the earth. Oh, what about you two? Dave. Leave me be. I won't listen to your manipulations. I, I will make it into the academy. Just just a few hours longer. Just a few hours, surely. Wow, these are fucking morons. You talk to Meckel? Have I proved my worth? Did he say anything? Yeah, Meckel is tricking you. I'll never let you into the academy. No, it can't be. You're wrong. I can't waste it my life. You were saying, assholes? Why well, don't you just drop dead? What do you say to that? Dave, leave me be just. just. 
Uh, well, so much for that. Where was my force persuade option to tell these guys to go home? Now then, this guy right here. He'll let you in. For the most part. But he'll have some things to say about which companions that you bring with you. I'm bringing Carve because, well, Dustal is in the academy and we need to complete the Carve side quest. And HK is with me because it's HK. Do I need another re any other reason? You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. You will let me inside. I have been conditioned to resist mental persuasion, citizen. Please, do not attempt that again. What's this medallion you mention? It is the device given to one who has been accepted into the Academy, but has not yet proved their worth as a student. If one of the Sith decides you are worthy, you will be given one. Which you must then take to Yathura Ban, who I believe is in the Cantina. It is she who decides which hopefuls enter the Academy. I said you will let me inside. I have been conditioned on your way. Well, fuck you too, asshole. You can't just let me in. <sighs> you know, I try to be a nice guy. They decide, fuck me. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. Uh, makes me wonder... Who designed protocol droids? Actually, now I think about it. Was Anakin the only one who made 3 P 3PO, or is that based on a co complete line of protocol droids? Ah, whatever. Yathura Ban, huh? Well, now she's here. Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good for I have little patience. So you know what I am? You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all. Willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. Who are you? Who am I? You must not have been in Korriban for very long. Either that or you have been feeling your way about blindly. Luckily for you, I am in a charitable mood. I am Yathura Ban, second only to Master Uthar of the Sith Academy here in Dresde. I am the one who decides which of the few of the many hopefuls who travel here to train actually become a Sith. Why? Is it your desire to enter the Academy? Is that why you are here? Yes, that's exactly why I'm here. Let me join you. Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Yes, but only very little. As I thought, how interesting that they would let one with such power out of their grasp. Or are you here to spy on us? For all the good it would do. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Yes, you want to accept me into the Academy. <laughs> you must not think much of Sith Masters to try that little trick. I won't hold it against you, however. It shows initiative. But I do desire a real answer to my question. Does it interest you? Again? I suppose that would interest me, yes. Hmm. A strange response indeed. Is your mind maladjusted in some way? You should make for an interesting pupil indeed. I will take you to the Academy. And we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? Ah, uh, they're just slaves. Don't worry about them. Statement. Just a simple droid here, ma'am. Nothing to see. Move along. I see. Fair enough. So long as they do not disturb your training or cause any trouble. Are you ready to go to the Academy, then? Yes, I am. Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you.
Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? I know more about the Sith than you. I've just forgotten. Indeed. Then perhaps you would care to demonstrate for us the powers of a Sith Master. No? Then perhaps you shall keep your foolishness to yourself and actually learn something. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? I am ready to learn more. Are you? I can see into your heart, young human, and I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then... All of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige, to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Well, we made it to the Sith Academy on Korriban. I kind of wish there was an option to go full Darth Revan and just slaughter everyone in here and show your true power of the dark side, but no one will believe you. Ugh. Malak's Sith Wars, nothing but a bunch of fools and idiots. Ah, oh, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Star Wars, that's the Old Republic. Next time, we'll be engaging in Sith politics. Everyone's favorite fucking subject. But until then, thanks for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see y'all next time.